Hey guys, happy, happy middle of November. Let's be real, it's the middle of November and I'm finally getting around to doing my October wrap up because that's how I function. If I'm not late, then something's wrong. Something's very wrong if I'm not late. Meaning I've been replaced by a clone probably and you are not talking to me if I'm early or on time. Maybe it might be me if I'm on time, but never early. Now that would be preposterous. Who's early? Really? Like, is that a thing? People people do that? I really should work on that. But besides that point, I hope you guys had a great Halloween, because that was a thing. Unless you live in a part of the world that doesn't celebrate Halloween, then happy October. And yeah, it was a fun time. I was an elf. Here's a picture to show you right now. I know, I'm really cool. I made a bow and arrow from sticks I found in my yard. And leaves. I put leaves on the end of it. Anyways, let's talk about books now, shall we? I've been doing a lot of YA recently, I've noticed, because I'm just not in the hard book mood, apparently. So YA it is, because those are fun and easy to read. So let's start off with this book. It's called A School for Unusual Girls. It's by Kathleen Baldwin, and it was good, if I remember correctly. <laughs> so essentially, it's about this girl, what is her name? Georgiana, Georgiana, kind of like, no, in Pride and Prejudice, Georgiana. Georgiana Fitzwilliam is her name, hmm, hmm. But Georgiana is supposedly very intelligent for her age in a bad way because you know in Victorian England they didn't want their girls to be any sorts of intelligence and they just wanted to be a pretty face and a pretty wife for some ugly old bloke who had lots of money because that's apparently what those times were all about but Georgiana is not about that kind of life so she accidentally set fire to her father's barn when doing an experiment because she loves chemistry and is therefore sent to this school that is known for reforming unusual girls as in the title and making them into proper ladies of society of society and to proper ladies of society but she you know that's not really what the school's about it's about creating these girls into spies to be used by the government because they're intelligent so why not use them for stuff that involves espionage and whatnot. And yeah, <laughs> that was a great description, but that's all you're gonna get, because if you want to know more, read the book, because it was mildly entertaining if you like that time period and if you like YA. So do that. Okay, that's a thumbs up. Next, I read this lovely gem of a book called Dream a Little Dream by Kristen Gear. But she wrote the Ruby Red Trilogy, if you've heard of that, which is a great series. I love that series. It's about time travel and it's brilliant. And this book has a very similar tone to that book, which was good because I really enjoy her writing, which is also interesting because she writes in German and then these books are translated into English. So if I knew German, I would love to read it in German, but sadly I don't. Even though I took like two semesters worth of German, I know nothing. It's very sad, I know. The education system here. Or maybe it's just me, it's probably me. Let's be real, it's me. Dream a Little Dream is about a girl named Liv who, with her and her sister, move to England with their mother, who is this kind of eccentric, scatterbrained professor who's brilliant, but she's not very mothering, let's say. But the girl's mother is getting remarried to this guy, so they decide, or not remarried, but it's dating. I don't know, it's confusing a little bit. So she moves to England and is sent to a new school and she has this dream about these four boys who of course are blonde and gorgeous and whatever and the next day when she attends her school she realizes these boys go to her school and they seem to recognize her like they had this shared dream scenario together. So she's all like, oh what's going on here? This is very weird. I'm going to try and figure it out. And then one of the boys ends up being the son of the guy her f mother is dating slash going to marry probably and it's all very funny and I enjoyed this book series very much 
there's like something to do with a sort of seancey ritual demon situation going on where I don't know it's confusing but they're able to walk and live their dreams so read it because I liked it and if you like the Ruby Red trilogy you'll like this definitely most assuredly though I wish it had time travel in it too because I like time travel but alas I'll settle for being able to walk in your dreams which I don't really want to see other people's dreams let's be real they're probably weird but, you know, interesting. Sure, interesting, we'll go with that. Next, I read a book called Model Misfit, or Geek Girl is the title, and it's by, sorry, Holly Small, I believe is how you pronounce her name. It's so reflective, I'm sorry. But I didn't realize it when I picked this book up that it is a sequel, of course, naturally. This always happens to me. Label books with numbers, people. Is that so difficult? Like, I don't know when I pick up a book if it's a sequel or not. Unless the description sounds like a sequel, then I'll realize it's a sequel. But numbers help greatly. But Geek Girl was about this charming girl named Harriet, who is also a bit odd and eccentric. And she just so happens to have fallen into modeling somehow. I don't know how. But she gets to go on this photo shoot in Japan and she's rather klutzy and clumsy so shenanigans happen and she meets a bunch of people and not all of them are people she should trust slash someone is trying to sabotage her possibly in her photo shoots. And it's very hilarious and lots of weird things happen like she has to do a photo shoot in a sumo wrestling ring and then on top of Mount Fuji or near Mount Fuji in the water, but I think it's interesting, the modeling world, and the writer, the author, actually was, this kind of sort of happened to her when she was younger, she fell into the modeling world somehow and kind of felt like she didn't quite fit into it, but she had a great experience nonetheless along the way. So these books kind of embody that spirit. And they, this one was enjoyable and maybe I'll read more in the series, I'm not sure yet, but I might give it a shot. Next I read A Book of Spirits and Thieves by Morgan Rhodes and this I think is like part of a continuation of a series so I haven't read that series it's like the Fallen Kingdom series I haven't read any of those books so it would probably be a better read if I was familiar with the world they were talking about but I did enjoy it I'll <laughs> especially because when I was reading it I was also in Toronto that weekend which is where this book is based but it's essentially about two girls who live in a bookshop with their mother in Toronto and this book comes to the shop one day and one of the girls touches it and she is transported to this magical world but in the real modern world she's put into a sort of coma-like state and there's a secret society in Toronto of all these rich and wealthy people and they're kind of vigilantes in a way and just things get complicated and the girls have to try and figure out what the secret society is and what's their purpose and if they're bad or not. So yeah, interesting read. Not my favorite thing in the world but I enjoyed it. That's really all I'm saying about all these books. Like, not the best thing in the world, but it's still enjoyable. Like, most reads. I don't hate books a lot, guys. It takes a lot for me to not like a book. Like, I'm not that picky, okay? So, <laughs> these are my reviews. It was great, yeah, I loved it. It was awesome, you should read it, essentially. This is what you'll, you'll get. But sometimes I'm more excited and less excited about books. But generally they're pretty steady, like they say in this plane. You know. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you? No one knows what I'm saying, ever. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> Moving on. The last book I'm going to talk about today is called Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. <laughs> but this is a book about a girl named Audrey who has some social anxiety issues. 
Um, something occurred, she was bullied in school by a group of girls, and that affected her in a psychological manner. So she has this thing where she can't really talk to people that well. She gets really panicky and nervous, and she has to wear sunglasses all the time because she can't look people in the eye because it's something about their souls. It's like too personal for her. But this book is all about her going through that process of getting better and just that journey of trying to like accept and work on your social anxiety issues that we all have to deal with at some point, but her case was definitely more extreme than a lot of people's. But there's a boy, of course, who helps her out and her family is very eccentric and also try and help her out as best as I can. And this book reminded me a lot of the Georgia Nicholas series, if you've read those. It's very kind of in that style where it's just like really silly and funny. But this book is also very serious at the same time because it's dealing with depression and anxiety and panic attacks and... Yeah, I thought it was a very good book to like talk about that subject in a more lighthearted way. And that's it. That was all the books I read in October, possibly November. We don't know what's happening here. Um, I will talk to you guys later at some point soon. Sorry, I'm kind of bad at making videos all the time. It's... Uh, I just fail. It's also because I'm doing NaNoWriMo right now. So... <clears throat> That's taking up more of my time than usual. So time I would be spent making videos, I've been spending writing, which is good. I've enjoyed it. I will make a video about that very soon because it's almost halfway through November and I never even made a video about starting it in the first place. Because again, why would I do it on time when I can do it later? <laughs> my brain is weird. <laughs> but I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you sometime on the flip side. Bye!